Hi, today I want to show you how to convert youth players into wonder kids and then either keep them in the team and develop or sell them for the big bucks. Starting point, make sure you have some coach with a youth scout specialist. In this case, my scout is a youth scout. You do the search, always do the new assignment. You take age 16, 20 and leave it if it's a gold, and I'll show you in another video how you can upgrade your, your, your stuff easily, taking the exam and save and load repetitively until you get them right and you can upgrade. And then you, you send it out. Okay? Then you have Scout Resorts, and you will have all your kids. If you have multiple Scouts, be careful. You go to the correct one. You can click on the eye to make sure which one was the search. Okay. And then you can sort them, so sort them by potential, and you'll see uh, some stars. Now, this is already an advanced level, but when you start from the lower leagues, you get a lot of high potential kids for little money you can buy. Once you have the, your players, then first thing is set the training for all your players to intensive. This will accelerate all the development. Of course, when, they, when you select intensive, the probability of injury is higher. So this requires that you save every turn and then you run it. And if you have an injury, you can exit and reload the game. It's a bit tedious, but it's really worth it in terms of player's development. Or you can keep running the game because sometimes the injuries are minor from players of the reserve. Then you look at the player, Let's say Zach Johnson is a wonder kid I just got. And make sure you select the role where you see the star. That's what is recommended. Now, a small note, you can, for every player, you can retrain their position, and uh, which is useful because it's good to have a player versatile in multiple roles. So if you do that, after you change, you see it's reasonable, you retrain it. But after the retraining is complete, you get the note that is comfortable in the new position, don't forget to put the training position back to the original. Because that's what is the role where it will be trained and that's where are the skills that you want. Now, which skill should you focus on? Is it stamina the right one? So you click again a wing back and you read that the primary attribute for this role are stamina, position in pace, crossing and dribbling. So make sure you train in one of these five. Other skills get trained secondarily so they will still improve and in fact if you go in the training view you can um, see on the progress so if I do the physical attribute you see how many triple stars thanks to the incentive training so that's really worthwhile then you train in the right position what else you will send them in uh, on loans. When they go on loan, they develop very quickly. You monitor them. See, I send some of mine in loans. And now I see, for example, Rodrigo Antonio is a one and a half star only in ability and two and a half in potential. But Miguel Carvalho, see, is worth already 26 million. I bought them for nothing, for $950,000 from Espanol. And now this is really a, a star already. So I should recall them from the loan, actually. Um, and then the other thing is to make sure their morale is good. Uh, so when, they, you know, when the morale goes down in the selection, you see, for example, uh, Daniel Dos Santos' morale is bad. Talk to players and see if in the last match he had at least an eight, then you can click last match and praise. If the average of the last five games is okay, current form, you can praise it. In this case, it was not really okay. I, I, again, also here, I save before I talk to the player, so if he gets upset, I can reload. But training level, he has been working hard in training recently, then I'm going to praise him. Now, because I praised him recently, it doesn't increase the morale. I just wanted to do as a test, but otherwise, I would have done it. 
I can pick maybe another player. Let's say Jeffrey is a C Wonder Kid as well. Talk to the player. I cannot because I already talked to him about. You discuss recently. Okay, so I cannot prove it, but trust me, that's how it is. And the last thing is the, for a young player is to find them a mentor. When you do the mentor, see, I have a, when you put them with the mentor, make sure that the coach recommended mentor first of all, because in some cases the player can actually be upset. But you see. The same Dos Santos Magallanes is uh, mentoring with Gerard, and so slow progress, but the teamwork is improving one arrow. Then Tierney is uh, set going down, but they are working well together, so I keep it. Slow progress, watch out, too early. This guy said Victor Manuel and McGregor forming a strong bond. That's great. Uh, this one too early, too early. Okay, so monitor from time to time. Um, but to see if I want to try one of my wonder kids, he's still is only 18 year old, but check him out. He's a five star and he's old. Because he's already three years with me, he's already a veteran. If I do find a mentor, Pablo, but it says, uh, Rinaldo believes that his is unlikely to benefit from further mentoring. Okay, so this is basically the recipe to convert your kids into wonder kids. It takes some time, but also, you know, it takes a, a huge pipeline. If you see, I have uh, almost 80 players. I, I was running with 80 players, which is the maximum you can have, 14 the main team and 14 reserve. See, I have, <clears throat> and most of them are in loan, actually. And uh, I monitor, and then what happens is that eventually some of the high potential, the potential is dynamic, so it changes over time. Some of these high potential don't fulfill their expectation, and then I sell them and I keep buying. Okay, so now I have a roster of 65 players, and thanks to this, I have uh, $80 million in revenue generated by the transfer market, despite buying a few big players. And I got the team Palermo from third division to Serie A, and now I'm playing in mid-league in my first year. And I get to train in Scotland. Actually, there is a bug in the game. I got to train Belgium for a year until I was fired. All right, so that's my third video. There is a playlist on Football Manager with some other useful guides. Take care and don't forget to subscribe.